So we're here with Ke the Rileys, Kevin and Rich. This game is, of course, named after Coach Rich Riley. So we're going to go to Rich first. So, Rich, just tell us about yourself a bit, uh, you know, your, and your legacy here at Sheepshead Bay. Um, well, I, uh, I was a member of the first graduating class of Sheepshead in 1962. Um, and I ended up uh, going out to Kansas Wesleyan University. Uh, returned in, in uh, 1966 where I started coaching at John Jay High School uh, with a famous coach, uh, John Boyle and Vinnie Carbonaro. Um, and then in uh, 1981, um, the job opened up at uh, Sheepshead um, and Vinnie Carbonaro actually kicked me out of the car and said, you're going for that job. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to. I wanted to stay at uh, John Jay. I loved it there, but I went for the job and they offered it to me and uh, won the first football championship for uh, Sheepshead Bay in 1985. We were undefeated city champs. And uh, in the course, we tried to set things up. Uh, we didn't have a field at those days. We played on. Uh, we played away games every single week, Saturday. Every, every, every week you played in the away. We played away and undefeated champions. Yeah. Uh, and nineteen. And what was funny about it was the fact that uh, the PSL, when they did make us the home team, and the team that we're playing against is at their field, and we're the home team, and I, it didn't make sense. So I told her. I said, the only way we're going to get this is if we make the, the school football program uh, worthy of receiving a field. And uh, in 1987, we did a whole protest bit of uh, getting a field done. In 1989, they started uh, uh, construction of the field the way it stands right now. And in 1990, which was the first uh, team to be played by Sheepshead at this field on the AstroTurf, uh, they were undefeated uh, champs, divisional champs and everything, and we went to the city championship. And you were still coaching, right? I was still coaching at that time there. Um, and then uh, in 1995, uh, things changed with that. I was offered another job and I had to go there. I coached at Bishop Ford High School, started the football program there, and they did well. They won a couple of championships. Um, but Sheepshead was just a special place for me. First that I attended the school as a student, and then to come back and have an established thing on it. Uh, in 1990, I actually uh, said that we have to let these kids be notarized for what their their accomplishments. So in 91, we played the first uh, uh, football game, the Brooklyn All-Star game, it was called. And then when I retired in 1995, uh, 1996, excuse me, uh, they turned around and said it's going to be called the Riley Classic. And I kept doing it. Uh, and this is our 33rd year for the game. Uh, a number of ball players went from here uh, to pros. You know, Curtis Samuels, uh, you know, right. Right. Uh, Lance Schulters, mm -hmm. you know, uh, great ball players. And they had the opportunity, uh, seniors, uh, to play the game uh, at, at, uh, at for the Sheepshead uh, Classic game that we have, uh, the Riley Classic. So, so, so just talk about, like, you were here, was it 1965 as a student? No, 62. Excuse me, so 62. So from 62, we're here in 2023. Is this the 32nd? The 32nd Riley Classic. From then to now, like, how does it feel just being back on this field that you fought so hard to even get built? Well, I, I just uh, traveled from Albany, New York to get down here. And uh, once I got on the field, I had flashbacks. Uh, and what astounded a lot of my ex-ball players who showed up for this, uh, they couldn't get over that. I remembered their number. Uh, you know, uh, Jeff Joseph, who was over there uh, in the San Fran outfit, uh, he was, and I said, hey, Jeff, number 26. And he, how do you remember? <laughs> but as coaching, that you always remember numbers, yeah. you know. And uh, this is a, a, just an outstanding feeling, you know. I just like to see kids have the opportunity to end their high school career in an enjoyable fashion. You know, there's a lot of kids that played on teams that maybe won one or two games, and they never had the enjoyment of playing. Now they're playing with other uh, ball players that are all stars, and their their last game should be a memorable one. And that's something that a kid should have to be able to keep back in his head. You know, so um, I'm very proud of it. The coaches that did it, my son, who busted his chops uh, to get this thing here uh, at Sheepshead for the 33rd year, and that that's a that's just a great feeling. And Kev, just now that's a good segue to you. So just talk about the pride you must have seeing your father 
taking the trip all the way from Albany and getting to see this field and this day. That's right. There's nothing like it. Uh, you know, he built this sport and this legacy here in Chief said That's a family that will never uh, change. It's an extended family of my own. Um, and as you can tell, everybody out here is supporting him. Uh, what you could take from this great game and all the uh, you know acclimates from it, the hard work, the responsibility, dedication carries on into your life. And as you grow to be men, you can see they, they're very successful men. So if you could take some from this sport that he presented to us, this is this is a win-win. And to be here at Sheepshead, it's our home. So I want to hear every year. And I'm sure like his former players have come up to talk to him. like Kev, like how's it going? How's it feel like seeing players that your dad has coached years and years ago still like so excited to see him? I gotta tell you, I don't hate it. When I grew up, I was a very popular kid. <laughs> For reasons why. Right? So I got protected in the neighborhood and uh, you know, everybody loves me, everybody loves him. So we're just a, we're just a, like a, a family, I said, in this neighborhood. It's it's great for the kids. And Rich, Mr. Riley, pleasure. Pleasure. And I have that's another thing. I appreciate people in the past, uh, in the 60s and the 70s and everything. The media uh, of New York City was very good towards high school sports. Uh, the Daily News and the Post and the, 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 uh, the Journal American, they, they complimented by giving it. It's not there anymore. And I appreciate a gentleman like you who has stepped forward and has given these kids something that they can sit back and enjoy. And it's sad that the New York City, the only time that the media would come is if somebody got shot by a Brooklyn football player and uh, then they'd interview us. But um, there, it's their loss because they're losing out on seeing some great kids. And we're going to have probably around uh, 90 kids that are playing in this game. And that's a plus, you know, that uh, they're having an enjoyable last day of putting the shoulder pads on. And Mr. Riley, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you, sir. I'm going to try to keep it going for you guys, all right? I hope so. I hope so. I all right. appreciate it.